Good morning, church, and welcome to our Thanksgiving and Last Dance service. Here is this week's edition of COD News. My name is Yomi. The curtain raiser edition of the prayer conference for the month begins tomorrow, Monday the 4th of September and ends on Wednesday the 6th of September. The Monday prayer session will hold between 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. at the teen church, while the Tuesday session will hold between 5.30 p.m. and 6.30 p.m. just before the Digging for Gold service here in the sanctuary. The prayer conference comes to a close on Wednesday with prayers holding here in the sanctuary between 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. So come and join us in the place of prayer as we set out in a positive direction as we begin the closing moments of the year. Mighty. Now God says in that scripture that do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. What is a yoke? What is a yoke? Praise the Lord. Is yes. it sinner? Hmm? Sinner. Uh -uh. Is Praise the Lord. Uh -uh. A yoke is a problem. <laughs> what is a yoke? We're just, we Praise just want to define. When they say don't be unequally yoked, we Praise need to the understand Lord. the meaning of yoke. A yoke yeah. is a shackle. Praise the Lord. Is it a shackle? Shackle, Pray. shackle. Is it what? Shackle. Praise the Lord. Who is saying Praise that? Who says shackle? Over here, choir section, sir. A yoke is a shackle? That's what is a shackle? <laughs> what is a shackle? Something used to hold, like a chain, a binding. A binding of some something sort. that binds something, yes. that holds something together. Yes. It can be a shackle. Yes, sir. Okay, let's clap for her. Give her an envelope. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. The way they're clapping, you have to share that envelope with them. Amen. Yes. What is a yoke? Mm -hmm. Praise, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes. Praise, Praise the Lord. A yoke was traditionally used. Oh. Hi, Pastor. Where are you? I'm here. Uh, here. Where, where are you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ouch. Um. <laughs> yes, please. A yoke was traditionally used by farmers to hold... You, you, we need to hear you. Okay. Because some people's life ambition is to speak like you. We have somebody in church, you know, okay. somebody that works with us, went to Dubai and came back with a British accent. <laughs> Another one went to London and it's just not working. So I'm sure they're listening right now. Amen? Amen. Yes, please. Um, one had... Uh, lavender and lace and called it lofinda because that's all she knows amen <laughs> praise the lord so tell us please mm. okay a yoke was speaking to the microphone mm. a yoke was traditionally used by farmers to hold two cows or cattle together because mm. they were pulling a heavy uh, harness that was used to till the ground okay. so that contraption was mm. called a yoke and that bound the the together. contraption yeah. is called a yoke and is used to bind them together. I think she deserves two envelopes. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please give her two envelopes. Amen. Yes, yes. What is a yoke? A yoke. Yes. A burden. Yes. A burden. A what? A burden. A chain. Enslavement. No. <laughs> this man. <laughs> Uh, that sounds like pekele, pekele, pekele. <laughs> I will give you. You have three. Yes. This Tuesday, we shall continue teachings around the ongoing series, It Happened to Me, at our Digging for Gold service, holding here in the sanctuary at 6.30 p.m. It will also be a time for our Holy Communion service. Please make time out to attend. While this Thursday, also in the sanctuary, will be a time for the move of the miraculous as we meet for the prayer, praise and Pentecost service starting at 6.30 p.m. Looking for a service where it's just about intense praise and worship? Then join us this Friday at noon as we meet for the He's Lord Praise Hour. Come along with your dancing shoes.
Carpe Diem, an early morning fellowship of a community of Christians working on the island. She'll be holding two special fellowship meetings this week on Wednesday the 6th of September and Thursday the 7th of September. The program for Wednesday is a special prayer session tagged Enough is Enough, which will be led by Pastor Kunle Oriofe. It will hold at the Prime Chinese Restaurant on Aboerde Call in Victoria Island from 6.30 a.m. to 7.30 a.m. While on Thursday, there will be a shout of new song with BJ Sachs ministering from 6.30 a.m. to 7.30 a.m. at the New House Parish RCCG at number 55 at DBC Omotola Close behind the Zenith Bank head office in Victoria Island. Please invite your friends and colleagues as it promises to be a refreshing time in the presence of the Lord. Please be informed that the new Sunday School Manual is now available. Kindly stop by at the bookstand downstairs to pick up a copy. Also, immediately after this service, there will be a Sunday School Teacher's Manual Review at the back of the sanctuary. All Sunday School teachers should please take note. Arise Walk for Life is a family event. It is a 5,000 man walk for life and it promises to be fun and interesting. Registration and sale of t-shirts commences downstairs. We are all encouraged to buy the t-shirts for family and friends as proceeds will go to our healthcare project. The Bible, a seasonal series movie, will start airing at The Incubator 2 from Friday the 8th of September 2017. The series will run for 12 weeks, so get set for captivating moments on the big screen. We'd like to take a moment to remember all those who have been affected by the landslides in Sierra Leone, the floods in Houston, Texas, and the floods in Makurdi, Benue State and also those who are suffering from terror and other disasters all over the world. We pray that the Lord will heal, will restore and rebuild. In Jesus' name, Amen. In closing, as we set out in this month of September, the Lord will set us up for a step up, shut down the devices of our enemies, and remember us by intervening in our situations. In Jesus' name, Amen. On the 28th of February, they brought a dead baby. He had choked from being fed by the mother. My husband was the one around. I wasn't around. The baby was dead. They left him for dead. And I think in the grief, they all ran away. Only the mother was left behind. But we prayed. The day, the Thanksgiving day, Pastor Idea had raised up the mantle that we should look at it and believe and ask God for something. I asked God for what money cannot buy. And that day, about an hour or so after he called me and said, the baby is alive. Thank you for listening and watching. This is the City of David, where the love of God reigns and dreams come true. Where legends are born and tomorrow's history is experienced today.